So Beast of London is a walkthrough experience, which is a sort of retelling of animal stories from London's history. So this project was commissioned by Museum of London. It's a hybrid exhibition that contains uh, both museum objects, scenographic reconstruction and digital animation techniques. And it's looking at the relationship between London and the animals throughout history, so starting from pre-Romans through up until modern day. So Beasts of London came about from uh, a very simple idea to do something with our collections that was focusing on animals in the city. Why don't we work in partnership with a creative, in this case it turned out to be the Guildhall School of Music and Drama, and we allow them the creative freedom to explore the subject, a collaborative dialogue, but, but fundamentally we, we give them the space to operate. I'm a scenic artist um, and so I'm painting the murals in the exhibition, so which is kind of woolly mammoth landscape kind of rock, rocky side, which is the last bit left to do. I'm really enjoying the painting process. Um, it's really technical scenic art um, and those kind of jobs don't come around a lot. So it's nice to be able to really get stuck into that. The process has been really interesting. It's, we've been working with the animation team at Guildhall and we've been working with um, obviously the actors at Guildhall and some external actors with the script and sort of writing our musical ideas around their sort of narratives and pictures. Um, which has been really interesting to do. The brief for the project has really come from Dan and the production arts students as they've been getting their heads around how to realise uh, the brief that they've got from the Museum of London. Uh, it's just been brilliant to work with production arts because they have uh, a massive amount of experience uh, and interest across a, a range of disciplines of production arts. And our field in electronic music uh, and writing music uh, within electronic music is very much a production art in its, in its own right because everything we do uh, involves production. The art isn't just in the content, but it's in how you then produce that, how you then present that uh, to, to the audience, to the public. Um, and so there's a real sort of um, you know, uh, meeting of minds, I think. The nice thing for Beast for me is uh, the scale of it, and there's so many different things going on. Near the end, we have also helped out with the technical, and I really enjoy actually coming on site and working with different people from different backgrounds. It's also been nice to work for a long period of time on a piece of content, giving us time to explore different ways of making things. I've got some little cousins who are about 10 and 11, and I think because this will be such an exciting experience for kids, it'll be really nice to like see their reactions to this and come and see what they think, because obviously we all really enjoy it, but to actually see it from a different perspective and see how different people enjoy it, it'll be nice to actually see the audience in the space. During the installation, which took just over three months, we had students working on the project, we had professionals, we had schools lecturers, independent freelancers and consultants, all working to the same level of standards, which has been amazing. Um, whereas with a normal exhibition we'd have a pretty good idea already what it was going to be like. This time it's been rather different, so seeing, seeing the thing really come together, that's fascinating. That, that has to be the ultimate test. When you're in the space, the experience that you're going to get is just going to be unbelievable because you're going in knowing that it's students work as well as other people from the industry and seeing it all come together with the story that's going to come across I just think it's going to be amazing. Beast in Three Woods would be described as magnificent, large and all-consuming. Real, raw and wild. An awesome collaborative experience. So fresh, intriguing and multifaceted. Fantastic, creative, exhilarating. Uh, exciting, different, um, and entertaining.